overcome personal tragedy and grief. When you suffer and loss, the natural response is grief. It manifests as emotional pain or suffering when something or someone you love or care about is taken away. The emotions can be very high, and one can experience a variety of complex and unexpected behaviors such as anger, fear, loneliness, depression, sense of guilt and regret. All of the above can impact one's personal health, making it hard to eat, sleep, or think logically. Most time, the loss is personal to you, and it could be a person you love, a pet or an event of significance. In the case of children who face trauma will need special attention. They may have symptoms that may include fear, nightmares, becoming regressive, and not being willing to socialize. The best way to deal with any trauma or grief is to share and spend time with persons you care about and engage in activities that make you feel better. An essential thing to remember is, be good to yourself. Everyone has a way to deal with trauma. They may grieve differently and may have different needs. The stress factor can create different reactions, and one cannot expect rational behavior, which is totally understandable. There is no standard way to grieve as there is no right or wrong way, and one has to find suitable ways to cope. Experts classify grief into five stages, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. The recommended way to resolve grief is to recognize that the person you love will no longer be with us and would not want us to go through the suffering. Celebrate the life you shared, remember the good times, and eventually move on with life without erasing their memories. Can meditation help in overcoming grief? Many times we feel it's easier than said. However, there will be a need to bring closure to these traumatic situations or grief. Meditation is a way to ease your grief, and practicing it will eventually resolve one's sadness over the loss. Practice with slow steps towards meditating in a peaceful environment. Choose a place of choice in a room or a church or temple. A place where you will not be disturbed or distracted for about 10 to 15 minutes. Take a pillow or a blanket for your comfort. Inhale and exhale slowly, and focus on your feelings both physically and emotionally. Just be in the mood of the moment and do not analyze. Acknowledge your emotions with love. While you are acknowledging the emotions, remember the person or a thing you are grieving. You may see them manifesting in front of you. Try to have a conversation, and say anything that comes to your mind, and comes from your heart. You may visualize saying back things to you that you want to hear. Let this be an open conversation between you and the departed. Focus on any one of the finest moments you have, and immerse yourself in this moment of memory. Relive the glory and happy times you had, and the lovely interaction you had together. When you have finished, take a deep breath, inhale and exhale about five times. Sit in peace for a few minutes as you end your meditation. Repeat them as often as you can and do it until you are calm and at peace. Overcoming grief is a process, and it may take a long time, and differ between individuals. Some may cope, and some may not. But suppressing those emotions or neglecting them can only cause psychological problems. I hope you found this guided meditation useful, and that you will be able to use it for your benefit. Happy days ahead, Namaste.